I really would send my kids here, and I would not say that about every school district that I've either stepped in, worked in, taught in necessarily. It's sort of like a virus in Berkeley County, of uh, a good virus, and, and that's kind of how it's getting out. We really conceptualize STEAM and have a vision for STEAM that is a transdisciplinary approach that starts with solving real world problems that are authentic to our students and really mean something to them. So as much as possible we try to start whether it's a STEAM unit or a math lesson or a book that they're reading, we try to look for the problems um, and then how we can use our tools are what we know about science or technology or engineering to solve those problems. Awesome. It engages kids in the, in the learning. When they are solving these problems that are um, using multiple disciplines, it doesn't feel like school anymore. It's the classroom without walls. It's taking um, it's living outside of the walls that a school is. STEAM is, is embracing the world as we know it and then and learning from that. It's really, really exciting just to walk through the building and see classrooms that look different. It, it, it looks different. You see the kids engaged. Um, you see them excited about school. The problem that I'm trying to solve is that a lot of people want to tie flies, but they don't want to have to pay courses for tying flies. So I'm tying flies and then I'm making a YouTube channel on how to do it. We're really fortunate to be in the school district that has um, supported the, the teachers um, in, this, in this effort. And that's not something that we always see. Okay, so if I click on walk. Oh! Oh! I think they're doing an excellent job here, um, and I think that's evidenced when you walk into some of the classrooms and you see uh, students who are working and solving the same problem that looks very different. Uh, they're working collaboratively. Um, there might be two or three different products, so they're trying to reach a particular endpoint, but it's the process that really matters. Um, the kids are offering one and each other some advice, peer reviewing elements of, of what's happening. It's a real engaged classroom um, and a lot of activity going on. One major, I think, celebration with our students is the impact it's had on their um, soft skills. The goal um, you know, of this, this movement in Berkeley County really is to ensure that the students that leave Berkeley County are really well prepared for 20, 21st century um, learning. It starts with more of a mindset um, and minimal tools in, in, as far as going into and creating a maker's mindset in your students. A lot of times parents have an idea of what they would like to see um, just from looking on the internet or just other experiences they may have. What we'd like to tell them is to come into the classrooms to see what's going on because STEAM is more than just activities. Uh, it's more than just like building a bridge. If you isolate it to a Friday or if you isolate it to one room once a week, you're not engaging with the real world in a meaningful way. And so all of those curricula, all of that content, all of those skills that we want kids to have are, are not, they're not, they're not becoming embedded. It's also not all day, every day. We're, our teachers are still pulling reading groups. Our teachers are still teaching our students those important math skills that they need to have. So I think taking a balanced approach, not trying to make things um, fit or force things, helps for teachers to feel more comfortable with the whole concept. There's some really cool things on the, um, on the app that incorporate math for you already, um, and we'll play with that. There are certain things that lend themselves very easily to it, and there's other things that you do have to, and I feel if it doesn't fit, you shouldn't push it, and you should, you know, maybe look at something else to do, you know, because not everything fits together nicely. And I think a lot of people that don't 
understand steam or haven't dealt with it get real nervous about, you know, they, they don't see how it fits. If you can exemplify those characteristics that we want to see in the kids, the problem solvers, the relevant questions, the outside of the box learning, if you can show that, then they're going to be be more in tuned and more engaged in your classroom because they're going to experience a different level of learning, a deeper level of learning.